Adobe Captivate 7 now allows you to embed web pages in your e-learning courses. You can help your students refer to some additional web-based content which complements your course content. Let's see a short demonstration on how you can add web pages to your e-learning courses. Just click on insert interactions and from these cool interactions go and choose the web object and click insert. That will bring up the configure interaction dialog and it will ask you for the address. So just go to the page which you want to embed in your course, copy the URL and place it in the address field. You can also preview this page in place to see how it's working. Once you're done with the preview, close this and then you have some options here to display your page. You can either display it inside your course or you can display it in a new browser. Let's look at the first option first and here you have some options either you can give a border, scrolling or you can have a loading animation as well. I'm checking all three and clicking OK here. That adds the web page to my slide. I can also resize it uh, so that it appears correctly on my screen. So I want it to appear in this section of my page. I will just quickly place it correctly inside the board and here we go and now I will preview this in the HTML format so I'll press F12 and my course starts so I will just click begin next and I will move to the page where I have included the web page so you can see that my web page is appearing correctly and whatever dimensions I had set for this page uh, those uh, dimensions are honored now let's see how the web page in a new one window looks like. So let's double click this to change the properties and instead of display in slide, this time we will select display in a new browser window. And here you can decide whether you want the browser controls in place or no browser controls. You can uh, set uh, the size of the window that you want uh, it to appear. You can have it as a full screen or you can have a custom size. So let's keep it as a custom size of maybe um 600 by 400 and i will click ok once i'm done with that i will press f12 for preview so here let's go to the page where we've embedded the page and as soon as the page loads you can see that the web page loads in an independent window you can go through the content and close it to get back to the course you can also place a relative path here of a web page that you have developed and is residing on your desktop. The only thing you have to keep in mind is that the name of the file should be index.html. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope you like this new learning interaction that we've added in Adobe Captivate 7.